I really want some authentic, juicy, sloppy birria tacos. So I reached out to my buddies at La Capital Tacos. They're gonna make me some and we might even get to see some behind the scenes. And that's starting right now. I absolutely love the food at La Capital Tacos. Back when I tried their Latham location over the summer, I tried Tacos Con Todo and was blown away by their commitment to authenticity down to even making fresh tortillas. After publishing that video, one of the owners, Yair, mentioned via DM that I should stop by the Troy location to see their tortilla machine in action and to try the birria tacos. You'll hear more from Yair later in the video, but it's been on my to-do list to check out the Troy location, which was formerly a taxi station specifically for birria tacos. On my previous visits to the Latham location inside of Galleria 7 Market, I got to meet both Yair and his brother Nicholas, who co-own the business, which operates out of the two places I've mentioned, as well as up in Saratoga Springs at a bar slash nightclub called The Night Owl. Just getting down here, it looks like I'm about to get the grand tour, which is really cool. They want to show me how they make tortillas. Of course, we're gonna have to eat some birria tacos. That's really what I'm here for. As I'm walking in here, one of the cool things about this place is that the first time I tried them, they were super happy about me doing the review and stuff. It's always so much more fun when the places get involved and share it out. So it's really cool for me to come back and try something else on the menu. It was one of my biggest videos of 2022. It was just a natural thing to come back and try something really amazing on the menu. Inside of this small space, they are churning out fresh tortillas for their taco and birria tacos out of a motorized contraption. A thick mixture is made starting with stone ground corn called masa harina with water and salt. After it's loaded, it's dosed, flattened, and cooked as it makes its way around the spinning cooktop. As these leave the machine, they're pulled off the machine fresh to make tacos. Inside of this small building, there's the back of the house where all of the delicious, authentic Mexican street food is made, and the front of house where there's ample space for takeout, as well as a couple of tables for times when you don't want to wait. In addition to that, behind the building, La Capital Taco shares a setup of climate-controlled geodesic domes where you can enjoy your meal in the thick of winter like I'm about to. I got my own little like geodesic dome thing here, so I think I'm just gonna get my, make myself comfortable. It's heated and everything, so I think that would be the right thing to do here. Make myself at home, como mi casa. I am really excited to try this stuff. They are so forthcoming with letting me in the kitchen and doing everything. I wanna thank them up front for, for all that. It's not every day I get to see the inside of the operation. They're busy for lunch right now. Everybody kind of moving around there. It, it really is awesome. It's really encouraging. Watching them make this was amazing. I never really had birria tacos. I mean, I had it a couple blocks down. It wasn't this type of experience. So I'm excited to dig in. One thing I'll say before I even get into tasting all this stuff, everything smells incredible. They're super heavy handed with the cheese. It just, I, I don't even know how to react, but let's see how it tastes. All right, here it is. My first taste of La Capital's birria tacos. Birria tacos. Birria tacos. Gotta practice rolling my R's. Mm. Holy cow. Making a mess. I never actually got into this birria craze as it got popular on TikTok, Instagram, and all the other kind of food avenues. Having this be my first real authentic version definitely is an eye-opening experience. It's definitely a little bit greasier than what I expected it to be, even though I kind of knew what I was getting into here. Now, the one thing I didn't do is go for the consomme. Here we go, birria taco into consomme, and then we'll talk a little about the flavors that's going on. I don't know who thought it was a good idea to wear the white shirt today. Okay, nothing wrong with this consomme at all, but I really don't think these birria tacos needs that at all. You have this kind of oily, chili forward sauce that they dip the tortillas in before they griddle those on the flat top. And what ends up happening is it picks up a little bit of char and it gets a little bit, I don't wanna say burnt, it's, it's more of a toasty thing going on. Toasted corn is kind of a landmark in Mexican cuisine. It's almost to the point where it's like sacred. And this, you definitely get that flavor of corn peeking through everything. Now these guys are making their tortillas in there, not by hand, they have a machine. But like he mentioned, the machine was actually brought in from Mexico and it's pretty impressive how quickly they can take that masa and get it down that kind of circular thing. Pretty cool. The chili taste that's in that sauce that goes on before they griddle it definitely is not spicy at all. It's it's very much like um, dried chili, kind of sweet, and it, you can see it's dripping all over my, my hands here as I, as I eat this. Again, white shirt was the dumbest idea. The cheeses are awesome too. So they're pretty heavy handed with the cheese. And while he was making mine, he also made another customer's there. So you can tell I wasn't exactly getting like special treatment or anything. This is what you get. Then they sprinkle a little cilantro and onion on top 
and then you got your meat. This is kind of the star player of everything. It's a very subtle kind of stew, and it has a very similar flavor to the juice that they griddle the tortillas in. I think that that kind of braising liquid gets separated, and I think the oil is what the tortillas get dunked in. This is just awesome. Perfect. And I think one of the landmark things about this particular restaurant, they have the three locations, and they're making fresh tortillas at each of them, albeit in different ways. Over in Latham, they're doing it actually with a tortilla pressed by hand, whereas here they have a little bit more of a mechanized version of doing that. It's kind of a commitment to making a fresh product that is authentic to, you know, the style of Mexico. Like he said, he's from Mexico City. Do I prefer this over the tacos con todo that I had over in Latham? It's hard to say. I'm not one for all this messy hand business. In fact, I gotta go for some more napkins here. This is like a five napkin job kind of thing. Actually, probably more because that was just for one taco. I've used two or three napkins. But I would say that, and I have no idea whether the audio is gonna be good here. I can hear a little bit of an echo. So let me know in the comments, do these domes help the audio or hurt it? I mean, I totally forgot that I have even more stuff to try here. So let's get into some of that too. First things first, I got this horchata. Horchata is like a drink that's made by soaking rice and nuts and other stuff and then spiking it with some kind of spices. I think I saw a ton of cinnamon at the bottom of it. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Wow, very sweet, very sugary. Mm. I like it. It's definitely very forward on the cinnamon, even to the point where it's no longer white. It's kind of on the tinted reddish brown side, but it's very good. It, I wouldn't say it's the perfect beverage to have with this, but if it were a cold day and I was sitting outside in the little warm tent that I come in and I were sipping something like this, not, not bad. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit it with a like and subscribe if you like food. I do have one other thing to try today, and that is their... I gotta take it to the notes here, guys. Mr. Mr. Underprepared. That's what they call me. You know what I mean? One thing that's interesting about these is that I could see some condensation happening. It is pretty cold out. What happens when it's the winter? Right? Del Mar. Tacos de Camarones. Mexican style beer battered and fried shrimp with cabbage, pico de gallo, lime, crema on a corn or flour tortilla. They gave me corn, which is good. I, I prefer corn to flour tortillas any day. And of course, it's a seafood taco, so I'll do a little lime. I don't want to overdo it. It's cool because I'm on a seafood diet. Don't, don't make me fill it in. All right, let's go. Wow. Where do I even begin with this? That beer batter on the shrimp is absolutely crazy. Tasty, seasoned, crispy. It's like the perfect kind of fish and chip batter. So I imagine if you get the fish tacos, it's gonna be very much a fulfilling experience as well. That crema on there is absolutely amazing. Man, I would put that on anything. Wow, that's good. And don't think that I didn't like the birria tacos as much as I like this. We're gonna go back to those in a second. We have to, we gotta do it justice. Mm. And the cabbage here is kind of just like there. It's not seasoned and there's nothing crazy going on, so it's like a pretty interesting kind of crunch that goes on while you're eating this. So good. The thing about tacos is, is that you just have to finish it. You can't put it down because once you put it down, it just becomes more of a mess and we're already making a mess and it just is what it is. There's two more tacos left. We'll do one with consomme, one without. You can see how much oil there is there. This ain't for the faint of heart. I just love soaking it in there. It's funny because usually corn tortillas, I like, to, like them to be a little bit chewy and not really soggy. drips and I think it's this dome. We're under the dome. Remember that remember that show? The consomme is like got a saltiness to it. And that's good because the beef is a little bit, I want to say mild. Now here's the thing with these, and, I, and I've always wondered this. It always seems like the, the of the consomme, there's a lot extra. I've been dunking this thing like crazy in here. I probably have juices running down my face onto this white t-shirt. And it, it barely put a dent in the amount of juice. Definitely helps soak things up. Oh yeah, my face is a freaking mess. Shirt's still clean though. Mm. All right, last one. Man, this is such an experience. <laughs> Trying to get both my cameras synced here. Mm. Sad to say, I prefer these without the consomme, not because the consomme is bad, but just because I like that extra taste of corn from the corn tortillas. It's so good. 
One of the cool things that I'm noticing in this area here, and it's cool, but also kind of a double-edged sword. The better dining experiences lately seem to be at kind of these smaller hole-in-the-wall type thing. And it almost is like an indication that people are kind of over kind of the fine dining kind of thing. And it has its place. And you know that I like to mix all different types of experiences from going to gas stations or hot dog stands. You know, within this little section of Troy right here, there's almost any type of business that you would want to go to. Just two blocks down, there's a diner that's been there for over a hundred years. There's famous lunch, there's tattoo tacos. There's a bunch of other places. And it's really cool that like, there's these kind of accessible places. And you know, with innovations like this, dome thing you know I'm, I'm sitting here on the coldest day in the last couple weeks you know in the heart of winter and I'm enjoying a meal out here I am listening to a kind of rain behind me though which is it looks like not falling on me which is good kind of cool that the quality of food is kind of not commiserate with price where you, you can go to these accessible places that have really good food I mean this is as authentic Mexican as you're gonna get around here and that's been a gripe of mine in the area is that a lot of the Mexican around here is very kind of middle of the road widely appealing but not necessarily very authentic so that's kind of a cool thing that I definitely think needs to be highlighted here the other thing that's kind of cool about La Capital Tacos is that they have three locations and their locations couldn't be any different so the first location that we checked out there location inside of the Galleria 7 which is kind of like a food court kind of thing here you're in what used to be I think an old cab station which is kind of cool within itself and it's kind of like a little bit of a dive kind of thing and then up in Saratoga you have it kind of almost in like a nightclub kind of thing so it's kind of cool I think I, I think I might do a follow-up going up to that location just because the vibes is completely different I mean the first video I was in my backyard eating takeout tacos this time I'm sitting in this dome right in the parking lot really cool then the other one is like a lounge type nightclub thing. Pretty awesome and kind of a testament to the fact that if you're offering a good product, people will go anywhere for it. The quality of the food really is what speaks to everything and what kind of makes it what it is. What I'd like to see is if the prices are the same thing. I thought you'd like to hear a little from the owner. So here's Jair telling his story about what he's passionate about with respect to his business. My name is Jair de la Rosa. I'm the owner of La Capital Tacos. I come from Mexico City. I follow the American dream. My dad started business in 19. 68 opened a place in Mexico City. So then I immigrant to USA. I start from zero. Two years ago, I decided to open La Capital Tacos because nothing like that was around here. Then people love it. I'm so grateful. We try to make Mexico City cuisines like taco experience. Beauty Tacos today. We had this tortilla machine from Mexico and we make homemade tortillas every day. Everything is homemade, fresh every day and have a good experience as well. As much as it's tempting to go back in there right now and get some tacos con todo, four tacos is definitely enough for me, but you have to check out those tacos con todo. Check them out by watching right here. I'll see you there.